Climate change is running faster than we are. We need much more ambition and urgency. And finance is key. Developed nations need to meet their pledge to mobilize 100 billion US dollars a year for mitigation and adaptation in developing countries. And the Green Climate Fund has a significant role to play. The last four years have been the hottest on record. Extreme climate events threaten to reverse gains in economic development, may force millions back into poverty and jeopardize the lives and livelihoods of billions. We have very little time left to achieve the ambitions of the Paris Agreement. The recent IPCC 1.5 degree report shows the next decade is crucial if the world is to limit dangerous rise in global temperature. Never has the Green Climate Fund been more relevant than now. In less than four years, GCF has become the world's largest climate fund, allocating billions to support low emission climate resilient actions in over 100 developing countries. Least developed countries, small island developing states, and African states, all of which are highly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, receive over two-thirds of GCF's adaptation funding. The impact of the fund's financing can be found on the ground through the numerous projects executed. In Mongolia, GCF is supporting the development construction, commission, and operation of a 10-megawatt solar power plant, the second large-scale solar photovoltaic of its kind in the country. This project reduces 12,270 tons of CO2 emissions while producing over 15 gigawatt hours of green electricity every year. In Uganda, GCF helps 4 million Ugandans living in wetlands become more resilient to climate change impacts and increase their livelihoods by improving ecosystem services. GCF also helps highly vulnerable coastal communities in Bangladesh, specifically women and girls, cope with the adverse impacts to agricultural livelihoods that are freshwater dependent and addresses the availability and quality of drinking water. Country ownership is key to the fund's success. It is the largest supporter of climate finance capacity building, with hundreds of millions to improve developing countries' ability to prioritize climate investments in line with their Paris Agreement commitments. The fund builds and leverages the capacities of a network of 84 partners to catalyze public and private investments they would otherwise not undertake on their own. The fund is a force multiplier, de-risking investments in developing countries to crowd in private sector finance locally and from some of the world's largest institutional investors. Every dollar in GCF financing has mobilized an additional $2.50 from other sources. The fund drives results to deliver impact where it is needed most, building the resilience of hundreds of millions of people and avoiding billions of tons of CO2 emissions in over 100 developing countries. Whether financing energy efficiency in Mongolia, building the world's largest solar project in Egypt, supporting ecosystem conservation in Peru or protecting Pacific Islands from rising sea levels, the fund is delivering. But it needs to grow and play a more decisive role in support of climate action. I appeal to nations to show global commitment to providing the climate finance needed under the Paris Agreement. Together, we can win the race against climate change. GCF is driving a paradigm shift in climate finance. Now is the time to win the race against climate change. Join us as we start an ambitious and successful replenishment to win the race against climate change. Imagine what we could do next.